Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we're back to Dracula's Legacy. Let's continue playing. So we just got the post key, so the postman's box key will unlock this. It's all so straightforward, it's... I don't know if there's even a good equivalent to, to like, movies or TV. This seems to be a receipt for a coffin for Camilla Brooks. I hope if I show this document to the mortician, he'll agree to answer a couple of questions for me. Hmm. And that's the only thing. I stole that mail. And that was it. We have this wet sponge, which I guess I could use on this window. I... It's almost like you have short stories and long stories. And this game feels like a memo. That you right on a post-it. Just, uh, like, mow your lawn type thing. Very simplistic, uh, straightforward. I wonder if I really needed to clean the window to open that. And so that needs a key, and I assume this is not the right key. Well, we made a little bit more progress. So we have another wall, and that might be the next section of the game. Let's see. Sorry, but you misunderstood me. I'm Camilla Brooks's niece. I'm here for the coffin for her deceased husband. Well, why didn't you say you were from Camilla the first time? My condolences to you for the loss of your dear uncle. Our lord seemed to have decided that Mr. Brooks has lived enough on this earth. So I guess I get to go in the gravedigger shop. Yay. Wait for me here. I'll go get the coffin. What, you have to pick up your own coffin? You don't have it delivered to a graveyard? Let's see. This is some kind of key. Let's see. Take this. Oh no. This is a photo of Matt. That ugly mortician must know what happened to him. I was going for the key. I demand an explanation. Where did you get this photo of Matt Wilson from? You won't get any information from me. I've just called your Aunt Camilla, and she assured me that her niece was buried three years ago. This guy's just covered in blood. You don't look like you're dead. So leave my shop right now, or else I will be forced to kick you out myself. Hmm. It almost feels like a totally different game right now. I guess I can't do anything, so... Unless I'm supposed to just hit, hit, kill him. You know, just like straight razor across the face. He won't talk and I can't do anything else. So I'll probably have to get rid of him. I'll go ahead and use the switchboard key here. And just insanely dangerously pull out a fuse. Really, really dangerous. And I guess you don't even use the fuse in that? Hit some other connection? Hmm. I'm a little confused. See, I guess I can walk back here, but he's gonna stop me. So... You need a key to turn this car on, and I don't have a key. And... Over here... It seems that the gas tank is empty, and that's the only thing to interact with. Over here, 
unless the fuse works in that that's not it either this guy needs a key why couldn't I cut the leather it would be kind of difficult but not terrible terribly impossible there must still be something to do with this because it's letting me kick click on it fuse wash it off hacksaw Hmm. Maybe I just use the hacksaw on the bushes. Or the hacksaw. These these objects are a little too close to each other. Hmm. Is there something else here? Hmm. Is it time for a hint? No, it's not time for a hint. I take the hacksaw and I cut this. There we go. In we go. And right there is a gas tank. Or at least something that can be used as a gas tank. And we're going down this place. Put a fuse in here somewhere. Interesting. I think, if I was to guess, what they want me to do is probably something along this line, but then line up the colors here. I didn't even intentionally move any of the bottom of that puzzle. See, and that just seems way too easy. Way, way too easy. Is there anything else in this room to even click on? No. And creepy angel statue. Creepy demon goat statue. Take the shotgun. Take the so I need to find a shotgun shell before I can pick up the shotgun. Take a bucket. It's kind of weird to have a bucket and a canister going on at the same time. We'll take a cigar cutter. Ordinary plastic bottle. Is there anything I'm supposed to do with the plastic bottle? Cut the top off of it. So now I have a watering can. Ah, uh, uh, I have a funnel. Let's see. Is there anything else? Nope. Everything's falling into place so obviously. It's like, take this, use it here. Fill it up. Need a valve to turn it on. All right. Uh, cigar clipper. Shop window key. Bucket. Hmm. Let's get rid of some things while we're here. At least this goes there. That was pretty obvious. I'm not sure what the cigar go the cigar clipper is for. And shop window key. So if the guy was out of the way, ah uh, yes, this would work. I just gotta figure out how to get rid of him. Hmm. 
What I must have to do is go back to the first screen, click on this, use a bucket, nope, click on this, use a bucket. If these things were just spaced out better, we now have a bucket of water and fire. And now we can finally get to the graveyard. We've got several things to click on. We'll take this and it throws us out immediately. We'll take this ring. Well, then I'll use the scar cutter. Go through bone. Maybe that would work on old, decaying, destroyed bone. Take this rose, which is another key to the shop. Why would you hide your keys to your shop? in the graveyard and it looks like we're missing a couple of pieces an angel and maybe a devil or maybe both an angel and a devil is there anything else to interact with? no didn't think so we still don't have a valve, so let's come over here, we'll take this ring and open this, shut down, chills. So the problem with any game is hiding the fact that the game is nothing but a long line of of locks and doors and things stopping you from moving forward uh, I guess I have a load of shotguns now I guess that would get rid of the this will be an interesting conversation you'll probably be more talkative at gunpoint I bet speak up what do you know about the person in the photo He'd be deaf right now. Well, almost nothing, really. The Lords gave me his photo and told me there would be a girl with him. I was ordered to keep the pair here in my shop until nighttime if they came to me. What the heck is going on in the sinister town? If you're really eager to know what happened to this godforsaken place, go to the local church. There you'll find the records of a now-dead priest with detailed information that I'm sure will interest you. But take some advice from me. You better forget your boyfriend and run far from this town while you still can. Man, those lip flaps. Those lip flaps do not match anywhere close. It, it really does feel though that this game is, is it's kind of short on the hidden object parts of it. <laughs> Feels like they could have for like this area here. As soon as I open this it should be a hidden object puzzle. Not just something to pick up. See I don't even think there's anything more to click on in this. Uh, when I opened this, that probably should have been a hidden object thing. Anytime you enter a new area, maybe some hidden object thing, uh, things there. To just to keep keep the gameplay coming. Let's see. Well, how would I get to the church? Is it through this? Let's see, the problem with this is... Is this some kind of jump puzzle? Seems like you can only move one. There we go. This 
this, and then this. This one doesn't move again, so I'd have to jump that, and then I have to do that, don't I? And then I have to do that, don't I? I don't understand the rules here. What happens if I click this? Swap the blue and red items. The items can be moved either to the adjacent position or over an item of another color. I honestly don't think it matters. Let's see. If I do this, that feels like that fails there. have to pick one of these. Next step you have to do is either jump or not jump. Jump is the right move. And then hmm. maybe it's this. You do this, you jump there. You move this one, you jump here. You jump here, you move this, yep. you do this, you jump there, you do this, you jump here, then you jump this one, and this one, and then the question, next, the next question here is, do I jump this, and jump this, and then do something like this, and jump this, and then... I'm almost there. Almost there. I've actually run into a puzzle that's hard. right move. What are the other items I have? I bullet, pliers with a bullet, and the key to the statue. Let's see. And some adhesive tape. Hmm. We do have pliers for this. Take that gas and stick it this way and then fill up the car. And so I can't click on that anymore. And key to the statue. Doesn't do anything. Car keys. Now starts the car. And crowbar, accelerate, it doesn't work. Why is it a clutch? Hmm. Piece of tape, crowbar, crowbar with the wall. Hmm. So, I don't think that's part of the solution. I 
I haven't even seen a statue that needs a key. Really? So let's go in the crypt and investigate. We get a part of a fresco painting and a broken walking stick, which I take together. And take. Now I have a walking stick and there's nothing else I needed. And there was nothing else in here. Plate is nailed down. Take that. And there's something behind the plate. a walking stick on it. Use the key on the statue. So that's the next little thing. We'll have to find some object that that can move the plate aside. What do we have now? A walking stick which can work on the car which I imagine is going to now open up another area. And since the car moved, we have to ask ourselves if there's anything new to look at. And there seems like there might be. But I can't click on anything over here. Maybe that's just where the trunk used to be. So we're now in the church. And surprisingly, this church kind of looks familiar to another hidden object game. I'm not sure if it's the same exact church or not, but looks somewhat similar and I guess churches in general look similar but I'm not sure I'd have to go back and look at my records watch my own videos uh, part of a fresco painting hmm. so I assume the achievements in this game are simply given to you for playing the game if there's anything more uh, extra that could be done it would be really weird. Let's see, how many parts of the fresco do we have? Only two. We need one more. And we've managed to exhaust everything except for a bullet. Take that burning candle. And several things are missing. Let's look at this. There might be achievements for doing these puzzles instead of skipping them. I guess that might make them somewhat missable if you don't want to play the game. Can I take this rose? Nope. I like the little hover of the uh, what what we call it? the hover of telling you where you're going when you click forward. That uh, makes it a little easier to realize where you, what you're going and what you're doing. Am I supposed to use this burning candle on this trash? Hmm. Hmm. Unless I'm supposed to go start the gasoline on fire. How about this? Full of gunpowder. Ah, I see. And this starting on fire. Yeah, that's dangerous. We now have the suitcase key. And so this area is now done. It's now the time to open the suitcase. It's been here the whole time. Piece of the fresco was the only thing in it. So the danger here is that 
this might be close to the end of the game or three-fourths of the way of the game. I, I do a little research as best I can. There's this website called How Long to Beat a Game. And this game was only about two hours long. And we've gone an hour and a half. It's possible that I've moved so fast and this game has been so easy that I've done it 30 minutes earlier than the average. Usually not the case for me though. I usually tend to take a little bit longer than what an average player does because I talk about it and I sit and I relax and I'm not attempting to speed run a game or anything. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what the goal particularly here is. I guess I could ask ask the game what the goal is. Because you have these diagonal things, and these diagonal things won't line up in any specific way. See, this one's green, and this one's yellow, this one's pur pink, or purple. Ah, uh, I see what I'm supposed to do here. Uh, it wasn't perfectly showing me what that one of these beam beads is actually changing. So the goal is to simply get rid of everything that's not right. So we'll attempt. See, that doesn't make sense though. Because there's there's too many spots here. Hmm. And see if I do something like this, now that's solved. This yellow one isn't solved. Hmm. So are the white ones supposed to be the interlocked ones? If that's the case then I have... It, it must be the case must be that there should be two white in this. So this is the wrong way for a puzzle to puzzle you because you just don't have a clue. Let's go and click this. Move the crystal so that the color of the crystal corresponds to the color of the disc. Really? I don't see how that's going to work. I do not see how this would ever line up correctly. See that whole row and then there should be a white one here and a white one there. And so... It should probably be a red one. Hmm. Hmm. Something just doesn't make sense here. And see, blue, white, white, green. I think that's kind of right. And if I do this and swap this. I think that's right. And it's supposed to make kind of this cross pattern. Maybe. Or maybe not. I may have. 
have this solved. Let's see. Now the only difference is I need to swap this one with this one, and then swap these. Hmm. Kind of a complicated puzzle there. That surprised me on that one. We've also kind of fallen behind on our animations. Now we're not getting a walking through a room animation every time we we enter a new area. Uh, it's been kind of lexadaisical, I would say. But that's alright. That's a still way more than I've seen in most point-click adventure games. Uh, sorry, nope. This is a hidden object game. Or is it a point-and-click adventure game? It's kind of both. It's more point-and-click adventure than it is hidden object, actually. Uh, we've only seen we've seen a lot more interactions from point-clicking than we have finding things. Anywho, that's it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps out. If you want to support me further, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below in the description box. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.